Hello again, everyone. Today, I want to talk to you about decants. And you're like, what are decants? Okay, that's what I'm about to tell you. So decants are some perfume that you take out of the bottle, the big bottle that you have, and you put in another smaller bottle. So let's just say we have this bottle, but we don't need the whole, uh, the whole juice that we have here. We just want to transfer some of this in another bottle. Like, let's say I want to travel and I just want to take with me five milliliters. That's enough for like a week if I'm not a heavy sprayer. Maybe 10 then if, if, I, if I spray like crazy. So um, that will basically help me to travel light. That will help me to not to, you know, get my perfume bottle rejected by the air company because, you know, there are certain rules when it comes to like 50 milliliters, 100 milliliters. I'm not sure how they are now. They change. So plus I can protect this bottle from breaking because I'm going to leave this one home and I'm just going to take the decant with me. Other than that, you can use this for sharing your fragrances with your friends or maybe even like selling some of your fragrances because of course if you have a lot of them then maybe some of them you can sell to other people as samples bigger smaller you choose so like i said we have the big bottle and we have a decant and in this video i want to show you how you can make your own decant and i want to show you three ways because you can do it in um, in a few ways some are a little bit easier some are not so easy but they're not difficult at all you just need some extra stuff and i'm going to show you exactly how you do it so here we are hello hands um the bottles the bottles are different sizes like i was saying so this is what a three milliliter bottle looks like it's you know goes like this when it's uh full and it looks like this when it's actually we have a decant basically uh, here alive in front of us. Okay. Uh, this is a five milliliter. This is a 10. This is a 15. They're different shapes, different materials. Some of them are made out of plastics. Uh, plastic, sorry. <laughs> Others are made out of glass, like these. Glass is uh, better than plastic because plastic tends to change the, the smell inside. Some say. I did not witness this myself, I have to be honest with you. But anyway, glass is a little bit better um, because it's more elegant, but plastic is lighter. So yeah, you choose what you like better. So like I was saying, three ways, three ways to do decant. First of all, first of all, we have um, the decant that is made simply by spraying. Okay. So we take a bottle of perfume like we have here we take the decant and we just separate it inside just like so this is the most uh the easiest one the most simple one uh, but maybe not always the most efficient because if we're dealing with a sprayer that is pretty wide pretty you know uh sprays kind of uh like this uh then we'll be just wasting a lot of uh a lot of perfume in the room or out or on on or on our hands oh my god english please yeah okay so <laughs> what we need uh in cases like this is just a little funnel like this one right here so we take this we put it here and we spray but now, all that juice going around is going to be kept in here and just diverted into the little bottle, okay? Anyway, once we're done, we just put the cap on, we push, and you have to secure it, so you push quite hard. I'm sorry for the noise, but you have to push. And once this is done, you should uh, put a tag on it because uh, you don't want to maybe give it to someone and they have no idea 
what's in what's in the little decant and or maybe you use it and you have more than one and you know then it becomes a mess so we have lunfeline here from Atelier des Or. Perfect. So now we just put the little label. We try to make it look nice if possible. If not, if not just uh, useful. <laughs> and this is our little decant. So I've just showed you two ways. One is spraying directly and the other one is using the little funnel. But then, the third way. This is more exciting. And now we'll need a syringe. Just like the ones you find in the pharmacy, the ones used in the hospitals. And we open it. The needle, we don't need that. We put that aside. You don't use the needle for the decant. Now, what you need to do most of the time with this little... Uh, Thing right here. You need to make it wider because uh, this, I'll show you, it needs to fit on the little tube the perfume has inside the sprayer. So in order to do that, what I use to make it wider, yeah don't laugh please, I use a fork. Okay and I just put the fork in here and I just do a little bit of this move. Okay now this is wider of course, you can use anything that is uh, similar to this. Uh, you can be creative about it. Oh no. I have my perfume. I'll make sure I take this off and put it in a safe place. You don't want to lose that. Now, I'll open my, I'll just prepare my, my, my bottle here. So when I'm ready with the, um, with the syringe, I should have that ready, okay? I should have that prepared. So, I do this, I push, and then I pull. So I make sure I create a vacuum, okay? There is now juice in this. And now I just transfer it here. I'll do it one more time anyway, because I don't think this time you saw clear enough. Okay, I'll come closer. So, I put it here, I push, I keep it pushed, and now I pull. And when I pull, I get perfume inside. Okay? Pretty simple. And now again, I transfer it here. So I'm supposed to fill this 15 milliliter bottle and I'll have to do it one more time. I'm trying not to, if I, if I get too much then I won't be able to put it back. So it's better if I don't get too much. <laughs> I think that's almost enough. You still have to leave room for this, for for the little um. God, what's the name of this? I don't know. You tell me. So we have it. I think it still needs like half a milliliter here, <laughs> but it's fine. I'll do that. Put the cap on, and we have our Hasivat decant right here. Now we need to just make sure this has a label on so we're safe and uh, we don't mistake it for something else. Yeah, uh, so these are basically uh, the three methods to do a decant. I hope this is useful for you guys and I will see you next time. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.